Welcome back to the final drive presented by Sprint. At his introductory press conference, Brady Hoke said he would have, quote, walked to the University of Michigan. That's quite a statement when you consider Hoke was living in San Diego at the time. According to Google Maps, that's a walk of some 2,301 miles, which ironically is about what the Michigan defense gave up in total yardage last year. Hoke, a defense first guy with his first chance to get defensive for the Mason Blue Saturday. Hoke and the Wolverines playing host to Western Michigan at the big house. Pick it up in the second quarter. Michigan down by seven after Western's offense looked good early. It's Fitzgerald Toussaint into the end zone for the score. We are tied at seven. What a better day. Pat Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald Toussaint. We'll discuss that later. Western Michigan then driving. It's Alex Carter to Jordan White for the first down. Now, after their opening touchdown, they also missed a field goal. Michigan's defense struggling a little bit. Tevin Drake, 11 yards for another first down. Is that Wolverine D bending? But here's the difference. A year ago, they would break. In this game, they came up with big plays. Off the tip, it's Brandon Heron going 94 yards down the sideline with a convoy. His first career interception, second longest INT return for a touchdown in Wolverine history, and it is 14-7. Late second quarter, Michigan from the 22, Denard Robinson doing what only Denard Robinson can do. Instead of a sack and a loss, it's a 12-yard gain. Just 144 total yards in this one for Robinson, but it puts the Wolverines in scoring position, and Toussaint punches it in. 11 carries, 80 yards on the day. It's 20-10 Michigan at halftime. Beginning of the second half, we have a delay. Lightning in the area, about 30, 40 minutes or so. They would suspend the game, then pick it back up and more Michigan defense. Carter in the pocket. The tackling, clearly a focus of new defensive coordinator Greg Madison, and the tackling was much better in this one. But the big defensive star, Heron, after that INT return for a score, he picks up the loose ball after the forced fumble from Jordan Kovacs, and Heron, his second career touchdown. Michigan wins it 34-10, though this game never actually ends it gets called with a few minutes left as the lightning would return once again 34 10 the final number now brandon heron becomes the first player in michigan history to return both an int and a fumble for a touchdown in the same game the only other wolverine with two return tds of any kind in the same game tom Harmon, who pulled off his double during his heisman trophy season of 1940. as for the decision to end this game early here's michigan ad david brandon it's a win for Michigan, it's a, it's a loss for Western. All the records and stats will go in the books as if it were a completed game, but we just terminated the game early for the safety of the players, the safety of the fans, and the reality of the situation with the weather. Obviously, it's an unusual circumstance uh, to have the, the weather kind of, you know, stop the game when it, when it did. Um, you know, I think Bill and myself both had a concern how long we'd be stopped, how many times we would uh, be stopped. Uh, I think both of us uh, were worried about the kids. 